Hello YouTube, welcome to this uh, episode of Angels Travel and Ravel. So in this episode, uh, we're actually staying at the Knight Hotel. So Knight Hotels, there's really a couple of them in uh, in New York City. And this one that we're staying at in particularly is on 45th Street between uh, uh, 7th Avenue and 6th Avenue. Then we're staying in room 87 and you'll see the key says welcome guest. And the first thing we're gonna do obviously is open the door. As you walk in, uh, you're going to see the bathroom to your right and you'll see the main living area to the left. So we'll go into the bathroom first. So uh, in the bathroom, uh, as you walk in, there's a shower ahead of you. It's, everything is very dark. It's a night hotel theme. It's a dark black and gray theme. So it's a little bit hard to see the curtain and the glass that's on the shower. But I try to uh, go as slow as possible to show you guys. Um, obviously the, the sink, uh, white. Um, so uh, you have your shelf inside of the bathroom. You've got a hair dryer inside of there, so no issues there uh, as far as if there's a hair dryer in the room. Uh, again, I think they did a pretty good job with the storage in the bathroom here. toilet white, um, the, the floor white, but it, the, the rest of it, it's really, even the the uh, the bathroom tiles, um, you know, all black. You'll see inside the shower, it's all black. Um, you know, depending on the theme that you're going for, the, the theme that you want to look at, um, this is a very, very dark theme. For me, I didn't really mind it. Um, it's, it's a very contemporary look, a very Soho theater district look, which is what the hotel is going for anyway. So I like the theme of the bathroom with the black and gray layout. Uh, it kind of follows in and flows through with the rest of the room. Uh, so as you'll see here, they, I mean, they've, everything is very contemporary, even down to the, or the tissue holder that's there. Uh, they use uh, COB Bigelow products, which are very, very good products for the soap. Uh, uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, you leave extra towels, um, you know, so really impressed with the products and the amenities that they have here. Um, and then if we come outside of the room, we'll see the main living area of the room where you have your flat screen TV up on the wall. Uh, you'll see you'll have your little kind of like desk area with a very, very modernized uh, chair where it was very comfortable to sit on and do some studying and, 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 and do some schoolwork. So the chair was very, very nice. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. They do have some wine glasses as well as drink glasses to accompany you, some bottle openers, beer openers, uh, wine bottle openers. Uh, there's a price list for all the mini bar items which are stored underneath the table. Um, and then they have a menu, uh, room menu for room service, and they also have uh, things to do, restaurants uh, near the area that you can eat at. Um, so I thought that that was a very nice feature. If you flip the page here, they'll go into the regular room service menu that they have, um, and they'll also just go over a few other uh, amenities and, and, and things. This will describe the, the price of the items. Uh, which is pretty is a pretty extensive menu surprisingly Like I said TV mounted on the wall uh, Premium cable television. So that's always nice to have in New York City uh, You've got a little another little study area here uh, With a draw inside the draw. There's some more books on what to do uh, New York the Flatiron building obviously very iconic building in Manhattan uh, and so there's a draw there where you can look through some of the so scrapbooking, there's a really modern chair here. Uh, it was a little bit complicated to try to use, but it is comfortable, a little stool. Once you sit on, it's, it, it does work well with the rest of the theme of the room. It goes along with that funky carpet there. Coming along to the uh, to the bed now, this bed is extremely interesting. Um, well, you, you've got your main headboard first. This is, this is obviously a custom headboard. I don't think this is something that you can buy. And I'll come out and show you guys what the headboard looks like in a little bit. But first you look on the left side of the bed and the uh, right side of the bed. Uh, the bed is extremely clean. I can tell you that. Everything was nice and white. The bed is extremely fluffy. 
Uh, the headboard was very clean, very, very nice dark night hotel theme, like I said, nice and black. And it kind of curved all the way up into the ceiling, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, it was very, very unique uh, in, in the decor of the room, and it really added to the character of what this room is. Um, I would love to buy something like this for my room, but you can't just go out and get it. Uh, the lamps on the side of the bed are very, very nice. They really give a nice character uh, to the uh, two sides of the bed, uh, along with the mirrors that are on the wall there, or along the nightstands. Um, they also include this really, really cool Bose uh, uh, sound bar, which when we walked in had this classical music playing, which I thought was, uh, I appreciated. It was really nice to walk into it. So that was always pretty cool. And then, of course, the nightstands have drawers. You can use the drawers for storage as well. One of the other cool features about this room is that it does contain a safe. The safe is actually lo located right at the bed rest, as you can see here on the bottom. And you can use it to store important items uh, such as passports, um, passports, cash, anything extra, anything like that. The next thing that we have is there is one closet. So you'll see the closet here in the corner. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. Um, I'll turn on the light just so you guys can see because there is no light inside the closet, but there is an iron, there is an ironing board. Um, there are a couple hangers that you can use in there. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a funky striped pattern closet. Uh, there is a shelf up top that you can use for storage as well. Um, but you know, it's, it does its job. It's not a huge closet, but it's also not a huge room. So you really don't need that much space, um, to store items. The next thing is, so the view is, this is what they consider a city view. If you look, uh, the hotel is actually kind of almost connected to two other buildings. So if you, if you stay in a room on the side, you're really not going to see anything. So this is the best view you're going to get. We're on the top floor, the eighth floor of the building. The only thing above us is the penthouse. And, um, on that floor, you'll see, uh, you'll see an Irish pub across the street. There's actually two of them. Uh, both make very good food is actually where we went for dinner. Um, and you know, there's also a deli across the street, not too far off the ways. And then, and then as soon as you get out to the left is Times Square. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really conveniently located to Times Square. And we'll talk more about that during the wrap up. Um, this hotel so far has impressed me. Um, the rooms obviously are not that big as you have just saw, seen in the uh, room review. Um, everything is right in your face. Um, but the bed is very comfortable. Um, you would have seen the bathroom. Uh, it's very modern. There's a lot of modern touches. The color is a little dark. So it is the night hotel. So that is the theme that they go with. It's a dark night theme. And you see that throughout the decor all over the building. You see it in the lobby as well as the hallways. Uh, you'll also see um, how, how they go with the dark theme here. In this room in particular, they have like a dark gray theme uh, along with the black uh, furniture. Um, and so it's you really do need some serious lighting uh, to be able to to see a lot in this room. So even right now, it may not be the best lighting in the room uh, because of the fact that that's a theme that this hotel goes with. And although I have exterior lighting that I could use, I really wanted you guys to see the room the way that it's meant to be shown. And that's this way. Uh, so a little bit about this, the hotel uh, and the proximity to how far it is from Times Square. It, so you walk at least four minutes after you make a left from the hotel and uh, you're right on 45th and Broadway. It's literally right in the heart of Times Square. So the location for this hotel couldn't have been more perfect if you want to be right in the heart of Times Square. The best part is, is it's relatively quiet even though you're in the heart of Times Square. It's a Sunday afternoon so the Times Square is not as busy as it usually is during the week on a Friday night or Saturday. But still the hotel is far enough between uh, 6th and 7th Avenue on 45th Street where uh, you can be far from the action so you can sleep quietly but literally you're throw, uh, a stone's throw away uh, from the middle of Times Square which I thought was really really nice for the location. As far as how the hotel actually is, uh, the personnel upon checking was very very nice. Uh, the elevator is extremely small so that's the one thing if you have a lot of luggage expect to take multiple trips because the bellhop is very small, the cart is very small, and the elevators are extremely, extremely small. There's only about eight floors in this building along with one penthouse level that's right above us. The room that we just reviewed is room 87 and that is uh, 
uh, on the eighth floor, which is the top floor from the regular rooms. Um, if you looked earlier in the video, uh, when we were doing the tour of the bathroom, there was a little piece of jewelry on the bottom uh, part of the bathroom. Uh, that's actually not part of the room. It was left here by the previous person. So we went ahead and we informed the manager downstairs that a piece of jewelry was left in the bathroom. Uh, and long behold, they rewarded us with this bottle of wine, which I thought was really good. So it's good karma for being honest. We found that piece of jewelry, we let them know, uh, and they sent up this bottle of wine for us. So uh, really looking forward to, uh, to having this bottle of wine and relaxing here at the Night Hotel. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the hotel, about my stay here, or any questions about the room in particular, feel free to ask. Uh, thanks for watching this week, guys. If you are watching and you, it's your first time watching, please don't forget to like, uh, comment, subscribe to the to the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that'll keep our videos going. And be sure to let us know if you guys would like to see any other hotels reviewed. Thanks for watching, guys.